please don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck it up. This is terrifying. Now, some people are saying, oh, don't be worried. You know, this is kind of a common day thing. Honestly, it is now. I'm surprised at how many movies do reshoots now. Considering that's a huge budgetary increase to films, that's a pretty, it's a, almost a common day thing now, which is both horrifying and kind of pathetic at the same time. The ideals of making film have changed ever since it went from film to digital. The idea that you have more time to work on something, the idea that you get to redo something, rewatch it, takes out the risk. Mark from Fanboy Flicks, I've had this guy on my radio show several times and he explained to me something that I've never forgotten. And what he told me was that desperation inspires creativity. And the fact that now that that risk really isn't there, that we can just be like, oh, we'll fill that in with CG. It's a 10 year old argument, and I'm not gonna get into it. The main thing I'm worried about is if this film is going to suck. DC technically has three negatives in the bag. I didn't mind Man of Steel, but I'll admit that there was flaws. Batman vs Superman was a boring piece of complete waste. And Suicide Squad, as much as I think about trying to defend that movie, it's garbage too. I enjoyed it, but I'll admit, it's a mess. So now we've got Wonder Woman, and there's reshoots. And the one reason why I'm so angry is because that's what fucked up Suicide Squad. Sure, the movie may have not have been as good as everyone thinks it was, had, it would have been had the producers not come in, but I'm still worried. This is what I'm comparing it to. This is one of my favorite animated DC Universe films. It gave a great representation of the character, it had amazing fight scenes, its brutality is one of the best I've seen out of the entire catalog of these films, and also Bruce Timm was behind it. So when they say that they're doing reshoots for this movie, again, I'm very worried. I am happy that we are finally getting a woman superhero film. Marvel's been at the superhero business for how long now and they still haven't done this so that's one up on DC however DC has really no good movies yet whereas Marvel has a lot the director Patty Jenkins I'm very happy that we also have a female director doing this Marvel has had the opportunity to do it several times but they really haven't and the only female who has ever directed a comic book movies so far is Punisher Warzone, and that's a piece of shit. What am I worried about with this film? Well, Patty Jenkins has no experience in the action genre. Now, admittedly, she did Monster. That was a great movie. That was 2003, though! So she's been kind of working on doing other TV episodes, which, again, really good catalog, but inexperienced. We have seen directors with little experience in the action genre do well, like Colin Trevorrow for Jurassic World, decent job. Sam Mendes with Skyfall. But then there's also a lot of negative <laughs> results, like Sam Mendes with Spectre, or oh, fucking Fantastic Four, oh that was awful. I'm not saying that Patty Jenkins is not going to do a bad job. From what I've seen from the trailers, it looks pretty dope. That one kick where she's flying sideways, like doing a low like dancing kick, that looks awesome. However, again, we are dealing with people who are not that experienced. Gail Gatto really has more so been a on the side character in most of her movies. Everyone thought she was dope in Batman vs Superman. I thought she was dope. But the thing is, we only had 20 minutes of her, and the fact that she came in and was so awesome, was so refreshing, we're still not seeing her as an actress yet. We haven't really seen her as a character. We saw her in, like, little sample sizes. We're gonna see a full display of her range if she has one. I really believe she can do well, and from what I've seen, I see both sides with the trailer. Some of the acting looks really good, but then when she looks this, she gives this face to Chris Pine, but what is, what war? And just, that looked bad. So I'm on the fence with Gal Gadot again. She proved me wrong with Batman vs Superman, but now she's got a full ray in front of her. I hope she does well. I really do. 
I don't want her to literally just be a pretty face in an awesome kick-ass outfit. I want her to get the character of Diana right. Diana is one of the most interesting DC characters in the entire universe, and I have really come to appreciate her character ever since I saw this movie years ago, and I've really gotten into the character. So I really don't want her to screw this up, and really this is DC's big we're screwed if we screw this up moment. There's already been so many people who have left the Flash film. Four directors have left. I didn't even know the first two left. But apparently four have gone through. And that means that whoever the fifth one is, you're the fifth one in the line of four directors who they want to be four. If you wanted an example of what happens when a director takes over from someone else, look at Thor 2. But you also could look at Ant-Man as well. And that was a decent film. So. I really just don't want DC to screw it up. They are on the edge of an abyss. They stand on a knife. If they screw this up, they're done. If they screw this up, Justice League is going to be screwed. Because that movie's already hanging on the edge of this movie because there's nothing to cement on with the last three pieces of shit. Where am I as a DC fan in this? I am terrified because I keep on seeing Marvel films and I keep on wanting to support DC films, but... Aside from Man of Steel, I keep on saying, well, at least I've got Christopher Nolan's movies. And that's what I feel is going to happen if Wonder Woman screws up. If they make another turd, if they interfere and destroy a vision that might have been good by Patty Jenkins and they just throw it in because apparently these reshoots are inspired by the reception for the recent trailer, which if we all know what happened with Suicide Squad's trailer, that screwed up that movie too. I'm just very, very scared. And I really hope they don't screw it up. So that's a message for you, DC. Please don't screw up this movie. Please. You're actually doing something that's above Marvel's pay grade right now, or even catalog. They keep on saying, maybe we could do a Black Widow movie. I wouldn't be for it, because I think that that character has already been introduced so much before, it would just be a really silly origin movie. But really, we're actually doing one above Marvel. So don't fuck it up. That's all for me, guys. I just needed a rant. See you guys later.